Good afternoon, my name is Foranya Biu. I'm a full-time MBA student at London Metropolitan University and a full-time healthcare assistant at Royal Brompton Hospital. In this video, I will be discussing in more detail about Tesco marketing. Uh, you may have uh, previously seen um, a video of um, my colleague Harry. He has been introducing you to Tesco marketing and why we are presenting Tesco marketing uh, as well as its customer, its consumer behavior and so on. So um, first, uh, let's start with um, qualitative marketing information. As Tesco existing to serve their customer, um, customer review is the way to listening to the customer feedback in order to acting on what is most important why customer choose to shop at Tesco. Their quantitative marketing information, Tesco has done survey on their customer in order to get recommendation and to get royalty customer who will come back to shopping at Tesco time and again. Tesco has done survey on their employee to recommend them as a great place to work and shop. By doing this, Tesco had created trust between their customer and employees. Tesco marketing plans. Tesco has celebrated 100 years of great value of the successful of their long-term marketing plan. Tesco is um, using customer testing panels as their marketing research in order to develop their new products to suit the customer need through club card. Tesco has analyzed the situation by trying to understand their customer and the competitors. By using the SWOT analysis, which we will be discussing in more detail later on, Tesco creates Chanel to bring the best product to customer. They have created a range of Chanel from small shop to large shop as well as online business. Um, having said that, there are five competitive forces influencing the strategic planning process, uh, such as substitute products or services, power of suppliers, power of consumer, new entry in the market, uh, the rivalry analyst firm. In order to evaluate the competitiveness, uh, there are performance factors, strength, weakness, and threat um, of the firm to be considered, uh, which is we will be discussing in more detail um, later on. Uh, Tesco marketing plan, um, Tesco marketing system. Tesco is planning their marketing plan by considering the how of marketing system of external environment and internal environment which affecting the firm. External, uh, external environment uh, such as economy, culture, technology, demand, legal concern, politics and law materials. Internal environment such as financial resources, personal resources, research and development, capital equipment, suppliers, corporate mission, and corporate goals and objectives. Despite this, Tesco can develop marketing mix, product planning, distribution, and promotion in order to bring their products and services into the market to the consumers. Uh, then after the purchasing actions, Tesco then giving out survey, asking for feedback from the customers and employees, and then back to the firm to beginning the whole process again. Uh, their SWOT analysis, um, which uh, Tesco using the SWOT analysis uh, in order to aid the decision making of Tesco marketing plan. The SWOT analysis consisting of strength, weakness, opportunity, uh, opportunity and, and threats. Uh, strength Tesco is continuing to um, progress and their strong performance is a reflection of the hard work of their employees. Tesco is creating long-term sustainable value by transform their Tesco brands and create a strong balance sheet with a lower indebtedness which reduced from 22 billion in 2015 to 12 billion at the end of 2019. Tesco has got many royalty customers and they, and they analyze their customer need through club card. Tesco has got a very really good management team which led Tesco to the succeed for over 100 years. Tesco has got good quality products suitable for all. 
witness Tesco has got a long history of fighting for customers since 1930 until today, especially where there are more of retail giants in the market such as Mark and Spencer, Sainsbury, etc. Tesco has have uh, have closed uh, their store and took the competition by the launch of a major price cutting initiative called Checkout at Tesco. Opportunity. Something for nothing by introducing green shield stamp and could be the exchange for ranks of goods in Tesco store and giving customer even better value at Tesco. Fred, the game of marketing among the retail giant in the market has changed. Uh, such as very little health services, express services, and, and extra store strategies. Nonetheless, Tesco has had a review of marketing plan based on Bell's and Bell 2012 theory, where they are considered where the company has been and its current position in the market, uh, which they can see it from their strength, weakness, and threat analysis. And where Tesco intend to go and how it plan to get there, which they can see from their opportunity analysis. Despite this, Tesco has included most of this information in the marketing plan, which is a written document that describes the overall marketing strategy and programs developed for an organization, a particular product line or a brand. Tesco marketing mix. There are four elements of Tesco marketing mix, uh, or four P's: uh, product, price, press, and promotion. Tesco is combining these four elements into a marketing program to facilitate the potential for exchange with consumer in the marketplace. Tesco has spent large sum of uh, on advertising to stand a chance of success plus they also have got good quality of products and services to be able to price properly and above all Tesco has got an adequate distribution to consumer. Moreover, Tesco also recognize the need to integrate their various marketing communication efforts such as media advertising, direct marketing, sale promotion, internet marketing, emails, uh, e event sponsorships and public relations to achieve more effective marketing communication. Market, uh, Tesco marketing tools. Tesco has been using the advanced technology to marketing their goods and services such as mobile app for Tesco Bank and Tesco.com for online shopping and home delivery. By using Clubcard to help with market research in order to help develop new products to suit uh, the customer's need. Above all, Tesco is using advertising to marketing their product, which direct through the mass media at group of consumer, and it is presumed to have the power to inform, persuade, and sell. Having said that, there are two different forms of media, sale pace and external pace which Tesco is using to advertising their products and services, such as information from ads in print media, newspaper, magazine, direct mails, as well as the internet, and a form of inform, uh, information from the broadca uh, broadcast media of radio and television. Tesco marketing strategy. Tesco long-term marketing strategy is focusing on growth, by focusing on four metrics, customer satisfaction, cash profitability, free cash flow, earning intensive growth by increasing the market shares and introducing new products. Despite this, Tesco has building market share by using aggressive marketing efforts to expand sales such as launching new advertising campaign, holding the market share by the man management team will continue to emphasize strategy to maintain this position, which requires skill of technological leadership, price leadership, a strong distributor network, and quality imaging building through advertising and promotion. 
Tesco marketing model. Tesco marketing model is the spec model, um, uh, which is um, short from strategic planning, evaluations, and control. The spec model incorporates Tesco new product model in um, planning the marketing of new consumer products. Moreover, this model allows alternative consumption. Sorry alternative assumptions and strategy to be evaluated prior to the actual test marketing of the new product. Importantly, this model can only be successfully implemented when the company has had previous experience with a similar new product which Tesco has had. Tesco Segmentation, Targeting Market and Positioning or STP Every little help might, uh, make a difference people, products, and places. Tesco is helping their people to succeed by providing their employee with the flexibility, skills, and reward to get on. Tesco is there to providing a cu uh, customer with affordable, healthy, sustainable product for all. Above all, Tesco is there to helping the community try by positively contributing both socially and economically. By way of embedding the Little Hill plan, Tesco has successfully services their customer a little better every day. Tesco is positioning their product and services with um, promotion by offering enough novelties and uniqueness to make switching by the consumers. Thus, consumers often have difficulty to remembering the product being sold, but really but recall everything else about the advertisement. Tesco target uh, market and product. Tesco is targeting the growing number of Britain who would live or eat alone by expanding its ranks of um, single portion food. Tesco has increased the size of single serve rank by 40% since the beginning of 2020 to 430 products. Tesco offer a single meal option is due to the fact that the research found that family do not eat together. In conclusion, target marketing or STP is certainly at the heart of what has become known as transactional marketing or mass marketing paradigm, which Tesco has been targeting their products and services by bringing the level of personalization to what is a Theoretically, the mass market has been called mass customization by using technology to customize a product while still being able to benefit from economies of scale. Ethical decision making models in Tesco marketing. Tesco is making customer be aware as well as let the seller be aware in order to behave ethically. By consider the consumer capacity and giving consumer sufficient information to judge as well as giving a consumer of choices. Having said that, there were seven propositions that were govern Tesco ethical decision making, um, such as put people first, achieve behavioral standard in excess of the law, responsible for their action, cultivate a better moral imagination in their managers and employees, articulate and embrace a core set of ethical principles, adopt of a stakeholder principle, or to delineate an ethical decision-making protocol. I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, in the next video, my colleague Lucina will be talking in more detail of Tesco stakeholder, their internal and external product, our recommendation of Tesco marketing, and our conclusion. Thank you very much for watching.